try and figure out what is wrong with her. The Dempster Highway killed our van. So we've got a list of parts that we need to order. They wouldn't be able to get some of the parts until next month. I don't like the word obsolete. We're Marion and Chris. In 2018, we quit the nine to five and bought Trudy, our camper van. We are currently on an adventure to drive the circumference of the world. So today we've jumped into Trudy. We are heading back to Duncan. B and B have headed north of the island. Uh, we're hopefully going to catch up with them tomorrow again. But today we're going back to Brobson Mufflers to see Sean and the team there because they're going to give Trudy a little assessment and uh, try and figure out what is wrong with her. If you've been watching previous uh, episodes, you'll know we've got a uh, noise coming from the wheels, which we think is the bearings. There's also a bit of a rattle under the engine so we think something's a bit loose so uh, hopefully uh, one of the guys from the garage will come out and have a little test run in Trudy and uh, we can determine what it is and then work out what to do from there so Duncan we're coming we're amazing thank you very much <laughs> Yeah! We missed you guys yesterday! Yesterday? Yeah! You guys were booked in for yesterday afternoon. Sometimes life on the road can get a little bit hectic and brains get a bit overloaded. Well, we messed up the, uh, the booking and we should have been there yesterday. And uh, that is our fault, so... But... They're very kindly going to see us at the crack of dawn tomorrow. They are. Before the work day starts to assess Trudy so we can order the parts that we need. So a massive <sighs> thank you and shout out to Sean, Maya and Forrest. For your understanding. We'll be back tomorrow. We're so sorry we're rubbish. Well, it's me. I messed up. Okay. We've been to Starbucks. And we have a couple of breakfast items because this morning we're going back to Bronson Mufflers and we come bearing gifts after getting the date wrong for our appointment yesterday. So we're going back. So hopefully this morning Trudy gets a little bit of an assessment so we can come up with a bit of a plan um, on getting her fixed. Good morning. I'm sorry, big program. <laughs> <laughs> so I bought and Mia said you like Starbucks. <laughs> okay, so we're taking Trudy for a little spin. Okay, so we've just taken Sean out for a spin and uh, he reckons it's definitely our bearings. He reckons there's something loose inside the exhaust, the front part, and he thinks there's one of the suspension bars loose, which is making the engine rattle. The Dempster Highway there. killed our van. I don't, think <laughs> I don't think it's loose. It's, it's until he's lifted it up, but those are definitely the three areas. He didn't look horrified, which is a good sign. He didn't like stop the engine. I think Sean's got one of those faces which is like could play poker because he's like right okay right we'll okay. get this sorted I'd be like oh my god <laughs> it's all breaking <laughs> okay Trudy's going into the doctors so this is the joy of traveling with a foreign vehicle in a country that doesn't have the parts so we're definitely going to have to order parts um, from back in the UK and uh, our friend Sam and Andy here we did the Dempster Highway when they got back to Whitehorse they had to order parts from back home in the UK so uh, luckily it couldn't have happened to us in a better location um, because we're with Marianne's auntie we've got a parking spot it's all good and we were planning to be on the island for a few weeks anyway so uh, fingers crossed we can get the uh, diagnosis today and then get the parts ordered from the UK. So yeah to make it slightly worse this morning we got a message back 
from my garage in Telford saying they can't really help with the parts because a lot of them are obsolete because she's an old van. So we may need to speak to one of the, uh, the big distribution companies back in Europe. The bumper is, is destroyed on this. There's, there's a, uh, a piece of rubber. Actually, you can see it on the other side because it's almost, almost. Is yeah. that, that, that's the one we saw. Yeah. There. Okay. So this bit, we need to order two, two new ones of these. Yeah. Um, it might be worthwhile just to order the whole assembly. Okay. Uh, see if they can have a complete assembly. It's not leaking yet, but the boot's gone on it and it really needs a... And a, what is this, what is the thing called that we need to is order? A, this is a strut assembly. A strut assembly. If they don't, if they can't provide one, just get the upper bearing plate and a new boot kit for it. Okay. okay. And then, okay. of course, front bearings. What is front the bumper? bearings. That's the bumper? that bit. That's, that's that. Bit. Oh, it's, okay. it's the gift. Yeah. That's, that's, okay. that's the thing you destroyed when you hit that big hole. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, there's been quite a few big holes over quite a few okay. years. Yeah. It probably did. Uh, it probably just bottomed out. Okay. And that's what they're meant to do. They're meant to keep the you you know, to protect keep it from the yeah. getting destroyed. But it's okay. Be, so we'll order those two front bearings. Yeah. Two back bearings. Yeah. yeah. Might as well do all four because yeah. we know they're all going to go. Mm. Yeah. In the next little while, once okay. one goes, the others aren't too far behind. Okay. So, uh, if we're in here, we might as well get, because they're starting to crack, is the sway bar end lights. The bushings are starting to crack on these. Okay. Okay, this one is worse. It's starting to split right here. Okay. Okay. And what, what is that called? It's called a sway bar end link. Sway bar end, end leg. Okay. 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 All your uh, exhaust rattle is really simple. It's flanges. Ah, uh, that's so. what I thought it. No, it's, no, it's, it's here. Right in here in this joint. Uh, yeah. So. Oh, okay. So okay. So that's an easy one. Just for the sake of keeping you guys from going mad while you're waiting for the parts, I'm just going to cut that out today and weld it. Oh, so amazing. On, and then you guys are good to go. And okay, and then we'll go and get the parts. Okay, so we've got a list of parts that we need to order. John's just going to replace the front part of the exhaust. It's got a little floating bit inside which rattles, which makes it sound really bad when it's not really bad. I don't like the word obsolete. No, but he said, he said, oh, these should be simple fixes if you can get the parts. Yes. So that's good. That's good. We just need to get the potentially obsolete parts sorted. Today. Okay, the exhaust rattle is gone. She sounds better already. Two more rattles. One down, two to go. <laughs> two to go. Oh, I feel so, so grateful to Sean because he's not scared at all. He's like, yeah, we got this. Exactly. We just need to get the bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Okay, oh. it's six o'clock in the morning, Monday. Monday. We set the alarm because uh, we have to, because of the time difference with Europe, because Marianne's going to make some phone calls to um, companies in Europe to try and get parts sent over as soon as possible for Trudy. You ready for your morning phone call? <laughs> uh, I'm always ready. And if anyone's wondering why I'm calling, it's because I do the business phone calls and Chris does all the complicated long emails. Uh, I can't, I just hate doing emails and I love talking, obviously. It's not in English. <laughs> that might have been an epic fail. Okay, well the problem is that the uh, the company doesn't have a phone number. We've emailed them. So now we're trying Euro car parts. Um, I'm currently in Canada and um, I'm trying to get parts for my Fiat Ducato van. Uh, Trudy is a um, Fiat Ducato van and we're driving her around the world. And uh, we've just driven the Dempster Highway and she has a few issues with her bearings and her struts. I've spoken to my local garage and they've told me um, that they can't help or ship uh, to Canada. So we're looking for someone super helpful um, and we're hoping that Euro Car Parts is it. Okay. Okay, okay. 
I was going to say, if I give you my email address, if you sh send me whatever you've got, and then that way I will be able to show the professional and he'll know what he needs. Okay, so now we're trying TJ Vickers, <laughs> which is a local place uh, that we used to use in Telford, where, where we're from. Dealership. I'm I'm calling from Canada, so um, the line was a bit fuzzy at the beginning, but we I've got a clear line now. So I'm in uh, Canada with my 18-year-old Fiat Ducato van called Trudy. Okay, so after those phone calls, we uh, we've had a couple of emails. Eurocar parts um, can get us the bearings, but. There's no mention of any struts, so that's not looking too hopeful. But he was very, very helpful and was working really hard to try and help us, which yeah, makes a difference. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, we also spoke to a local um, dealer where we are from in Telford, TJ Vickers. They um, said that they can get the parts, but they have to order them from Italy, which will take a minimum of 10 days to arrive at their place in the UK and they can't send them to us we'll have to arrange for somebody to send them um ourselves so that's not ideal no thank you we're very, very lucky to have a, one of our sons is really proactive at shipping and packaging and sending us stuff so that's great so then we did we did a post on uh, on social media we were absolutely inundated with messages yeah. positive comments contacts and everything and offers of help so thank you to each yeah. and every one of you that did that Two days in, Tuesday, and uh, nothing is ordered as of yet. And I have a Fiat Ducato van that is currently parked on the side of the road on Vancouver Island um, after an epic adventure. And I'm waiting for Steve to let me know about the parts, uh, which I then have to ask my son to ship to Canada so that I can continue. Um, I wonder if you would be able to, um, if Steve's there just to ask him if he's managed to have any joy having um, trouble locating the shocks. Oh, I haven't received it. I haven't. Can I, can I re-give you my email address? Thank you. Was he able to get the parts then or was it a no? Okay. Okay. Apparently he sent us an email, so they're going to resend it. So he has now located yeah, all the parts. Oh, he has. He's located all the parts and he sent us an email. Okay, this is getting very confusing because we've received a quote now and it doesn't actually really give a breakdown of exactly what they're quoting for. And then he said, that the front suspension legs aren't included and they got to get them from a different company. So what we're trying to do now is clarify what they are actually sending, bearing in mind it's over 2,000 pounds, well, it's about 2,000 pounds. Yeah, it's and because what... there's five lots of bearings and we don't understand. We would have thought there's only four, so we're confused and what the it... extra bits are. But, you know, we're not qualified, so somebody who knows and might know. looking at the other company, it's a fraction of the price, so I'm really confused. I don't know. Anyway, so we're going to try and get some kind of clarification. The company in Telford said they wouldn't be able to get some of the parts until next month because Italy is closed for their summer holidays at the factory. So we found <laughs> another site um, which seems, looking at the numbers, that they have everything in stock and they do international delivery. So we're going to jump in the van now, go and see Sean in Duncan, which is about 20 minutes away and just get him to look at this website and just to confirm exactly that we're ordering the right parts. Absolutely. And then I think we can actually order them, which is a miracle based on how we felt this morning. <laughs> yeah, I think we should buy Sean coffee and cake. <laughs> okay. Okay, we've just arrived back at the garage. We're armed with the laptop and uh, we're going to go and try and get these parts ordered. It's hot. It is 36.7 in the van today. It is warm. And it feels like it. Anyway, we've raised an order with a company based in Switzerland. Um, they can't, we can't process the order online, obviously, because it's coming to Canada. Some of the parts may or not be in stock, so they need to have a conversation with us. So we've done it as an inquiry. So now we just have to wait for um, them to email us back or we'll call them tomorrow. 
the reality is that the time difference makes it a royal pain in the backside because it's eight o'clock over in Europe at the moment in the evening, so but, nobody's there. But the bonus is it's more than a thousand pounds cheaper than ordering it from the company in the UK. It was thirteen hundred pounds cheaper than the company quote I got with original Fiat parts from the UK. That is mental. Oh my God, in all the excitement of what happened this morning in bed with my first coffee of the day, we've got the parts. We've actually managed to order the parts. They said all of the parts they can get within uh, 24 hours. Yeah. They asked for our VIN number, so they double wanted to double check that they would all fit Trudy. And they said they will dispatch it tomorrow. We've paid, and it was, I think, 475 euros including shipping express dhl which said they said should take six to ten days and probably there's a few days customs clearance so as long as we don't get lego parts for that money <laughs> oh they're not the original fiat parts no. um they they are um compatible parts but it's exciting so we're just going to be hanging out and we will keep you posted on um, the ETA. And this company has a WhatsApp messaging service. Which is amazing. Which is amazing because you wake up to messages <laughs> saying your order is being processed. Uh, please let us know if there's anything we can do to help. So Adriana, if you're watching, thank you very much. Oh. We did ask the office for a selfie, but they were a little bit shy. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's warm today. It's nearly 30 degrees. We've got the fans on. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And so, for a woman of a certain age, it's warm. <laughs> <laughs> and whilst we're waiting for the parts, I thought I would do something very clever and take the cabinet down. <laughs> I've lined all our products up there. I've put all those in a mug because I usually lose bits. So I've managed to put all the, the nuts the and bolts and screws. But why are you taking it off, Marianne? Because if you look there, it's cracked. So oh, if yeah. I can't fix it, um, I'm planning on, I'm going to ask Auntie Julia actually, because she's brains. Basically, it just needs a bit of support behind it, it doesn't it? it but does. let's, uh, but Julia's got tools as well. It's old and it's brittle, so we might have to get a new one, but if we can make do and mend, we will make do and mend. Right. We'll save money. There you go. Let's go see Julia. Look, there's more dirt on this. <laughs> this part, we've got part of the Dempster Highway, Aunt part Julia. Of the Dempster Highway. <laughs> <laughs> Julia, is that cab cabinet fixed? Fixable? I don't think so. I, oh. <laughs> I think it's going to go even more because it, it's got very brittle. But doesn't it look attractive? <laughs> well, it's not the attractive, it's whether it's practical. And the next time she just go, said off camera, it's a dreadful cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> So I was asking Kevin from the car wash place if he knew any RV places and he said but that's a really neat little vanity unit for your bathroom. Let's see if we can fix it. So he's gone off to his man cave. So we've come to the depths of Kevin's man cave. <laughs> <laughs> so he's found some really hard plastic and he's going to create some kind of reinforcement panel. Good job Kevin. So Kevin has come out covered in white bits, also armed with a power stick gun. Yeah, baby. <laughs> and two pieces of plastic perfectly cut to weld to our little plastic 18 year old what a dude. vanity cabinet for our bathroom. <laughs> Look at that, perfect fit, Kevin. Yeah, this is like a concrete is commercial it? sticky stuff though. Oh, oh good. Concrete. Concre <laughs> a new cabinet. Oh, a little more. <laughs> it's got a few more years life. The Dempster Highway vibrated it to death. It has. So not only <laughs> has Kevin got a fantastic car wash and dump station for RVers here in Ladysmith, he also has a van cat, which is the most friendliest cat I've ever met in the whole of Canada. And now he does DIY jobs and gives helpful information. And I'm sure he's subscribed to our channel. Obviously. <laughs> At that your point you say yes. Yeah. Your stickers? Your stickers are gone. People take your stickers. Do they? Yeah, we put them up on the bulletin board and... Oh, oh yeah? Some cards and some oh yeah, cool. Oh yeah, they all I talk to you about you guys. Do you? Oh, oh you got the job. Sales job. sales manager. 
Yeah. And, and ones that want to, another couple from Germany that want to meet up with you guys. Really? Yeah, I gave them your card. Oh, yeah, we'll meet them. Although I'm loving the new fabric we got in Turkey, the foam has gone and I get a real sore bum editing. He needs a bit more. I need a bit more support. We've come to the foam shop just outside of Duncan. We're doing all the chores today, aren't we? Well, it's funny because when you're on the road all the time, you never actually get time to do anything. And if they need to order stuff, it's one of the rare times we are still. So we're going to take it and just see if we can get a, a new bit of foam put in. We've come into the shop. I'm doing the bum test. I'm actually sat on a bit of foam where I can't feel the wooden structure at the bottom. Is it too hard though? No, it's great. Is it good? Okay. Yes. It's going to look like that for a couple of days. Yeah. Because we've left the, the, uh, the cushion. We're going to get some nice new foam. $175 and uh, by Tuesday next week my editing is going to be a lot more comfortable and you your bum is worth it my your bum, bum is worth it your bum is <laughs> worth it so we spent the day parked up as we very often do next to a cell tower and we might have made a bit of a boo-boo so we closed the windows of the van and left the ignition on and because it's law to drive with your lights on here in Canada, we left the lights on. So we have a flat battery. That's very nice of you to take one for the team. <laughs> it was me. I did it. Hands up. Okay, but now we do have one of these jump start gadgets, which is charged to jump start the van. I'm just hoping that we work out how to use it. We've never used it. We're complete professionals. It no. Okay, second attempt, and it worked. <laughs> now you know, I'll get out of the sun, but you know how we have this really lovely, warm, cuddly, fuzzy relationship. There was a moment there where we were both going, I plugged it in! No, we haven't! Yes, you have! <laughs> but we've done it. Today is a good day. I have just opened my computer. I've looked at the tracking for the package that is coming from the EU for our van and it's arrived. It has actually Yay. been delivered to Brunson Mufflers in Duncan. Marianne's a happy Yay. woman. Trudy, our van, oh my goodness, we're so, so happy. Uh, we've been watching like Eagle Eye Hawks this um, new, like the this tracking. update. Yeah, it's got like a tracking link. This is just incredible. Technology when it works is amazing. Okay, now we just got to call them and make sure they got the right parts yeah, and absolutely. try and schedule her in. Well, should we give them 10 minutes to open the box? <laughs> Okay, Chris and I do great teamwork and I tend to do the driving because he does the filming and remembers to do stuff. So we're currently in JB, Aunt Julia's van, which is a lovely VW Vanagon. Yep. What year is she? Westphalia. Westphalia? Uh, um, 1991. 1991! <laughs> um, she is a left-hand drive, which doesn't scare me if that's something that worries you. Um, she's a lovely, lovely van and um, I'm using her at the moment because obviously Trudy's a little bit poorly. Um, I've just been to see Sean, they are in, he has received them, there were no complications and now we're booked in. We've got a couple of weeks to wait um, but Julia's very kindly said that if we go on longer drives around the island to film we can borrow JB which is excellent and wonderful. Um, I miss Trudy, but JB has been excellent fun and really cool to drive. I feel like I'm one of the cool kids from the VW Club now. Anyway, I'm now at the phone place and we're going to go and pick up Chris's cushion for his bum. Excellent. So we have the cushion, uh, which is really beautifully done um, and feels a lot, lot firmer. So I'll put that in the back of JB.